Hello everyone, this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. I did some uh, skins yesterday. I fell in love with the palette. So I'm going to be doing some coasters again tonight. The skins I didn't do on the camera, but since I fell in love with the palette, you'll get a chance to see the coasters I will do with the same palette on these um, used tiles. But it'll be fine, but I'll just peel them off when I make the skins. But these I'm gonna leave as coasters um, to use. So I'm not gonna take up a lot of time talking. I'm just gonna start the process. Oh, and my cell activator is one I mixed up, similar to one I mixed up in one of my earlier videos, number 11, I believe, or number nine. But this is the uh, Golden Gloss Gel with Turquoise um, Prolex and um, Interference. Violet from Color Art. And so it has a bit of a color shift to it as well. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but if you can't, it does have a color shift and it will shift color once it dries and I resin it and the light hits it a certain way, it will turn from the turquoise to the violet. But let's get these colors down with this is my cell activator here. And all it is is um, thin down regular gloss gel from Golden and uh, wa with water and then I added that to a one-to-one -one mixture of uh, US Floetrol and even though it seems a bit thick it doesn't sink too fast and it makes a nice um, it makes some nice cells so I love the reaction to it there is no, it's not Amsterdam paint, and there is no Australian flow shawl to it, just US. So, let's get started. So, there's my pillow, which is just um, Glidden Essentials, with a little bit of water for consistency, and we will not a lot, we'll use a black base. Then I'll drizzle a little bit of this, a little bit of this apricot yellow loosely. A little bit of fireworks. This is a bright green or pale green, one of the two. But it's a light, like almost like a lime green, very bright. I like that color. And to complement the green, I like the boysenberry. And then my cell activator. I don't have to blow it too blow it out too much for it to react either. So I'll show you what I mean. So this is my cell activator here. I put in the center. And I'll begin to blow it out. Okay. So it didn't take much for it to react. Um, so I'm gonna open that up a 
up a little bit there. Now, center the balloon itself, not necessarily the towel, and I'll spin it out. A little bit more. Something on the corner I don't necessarily like. Take it off. I wonder if that was a lump or something. Right here. It seems like there was a lump of something that was there when it pulled through the pillow. An interesting pattern now, but that's one. I'll pop him off, give you a closer look, and then I'll go for my next one. If I get it to the drying table, so there's one there. Look at how the cells and lacing worked out with the cell activator. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here on my table. Okay, so now we do the second one. And it's funny how you use the same color palette, but just that these colors turn out so differently. I'm very careful how I use the boysenberry because for some reason it's like grand when it comes to the spin out a little bit. And just try that out. It's really nice. The boysenberry is. It really, it's really nice because it um it stains. It stains your hand pretty good. That's why I don't really touch it too much. At that time, unlike the other one, I spun it first. I want to see if I can keep as much of my pattern onto the tile. Normally I won't. But this time I think I'm gonna try it out and see how that works. It'll still match the other coaster. I mean, they all can look exactly alike. That's just illogical to think so. Mm -hmm. That apricot looks good. Fireworks. The fireworks and the boysenberry and the, and the interference color is from Golden Art. Golden, I'm sorry, from Color Art. And the, um, because some of my Color Art pigments are a little bit thicker as far as grain goes, I use the Pearl X powder, which matches more of the interference, um, the, how coarse it is. So that the color shift works better in the cell activator. And the boysenberry is also from Colorado. So the boysenberry, the fireworks, and the interference violet is from Colorado. I love those colors. I never used this little pig, piggy yet. It'd be nice to try one day. But right now, I'm satisfied with what I have. Here's my cell activator. I'll blow this out.
All right. I had to get a wet paper towel for my hand because my hand started um, getting paint on it. But now that collected a bit, I can spin it out too. And try not to lose as much as I did on the other one. As far as my design goes. Still works. So that's number two. I'll pop that up. Definitely brightly colored. I love the way this turned out. Okay. Put that over here. Now for the third one. I can't wait to resin these. Those colors really gonna pop, especially um, when it all dries and that color shift on the um, I hope I'm not talking too low. But the color shift on the cell activator really works itself out. I did it one time before. I used um, a brown russet. That's what, no, they call it blue russet. It looked kind of rusty, but then when I put it with the um, violet cell activator, I mean with the violet interference, I could turn it one way and it looks all brown and rusty. And then when I turn it the other way, it looked nice and bright and violet. I want the same effect to do to go with this turquoise. So it can be turquoise one way, and then when the light hits the other, hits it the other way, you have this beautiful violet color. So that's what I'm going for. Okay. And then these little parts on the edge, when they dry, I might use them for skins as well. And it does make a nice little pattern. That's not necessarily a deliberate skin like I like I had done on the other ones. But I can still use them as skins too. So again, a little bit of black. Black tends to take over a lot, so I don't want to use a whole lot of the black. Quite drizzle that one. That's okay. It's like that predictability thing you see on Jurassic Park. And Jeff Gold Goldblum had a man to drop a water down the girl's hand, and he placed the drop of water on one part of the hand, and it ran down one way. Then because of slight variations, he put the drop of water on the same spot in the hand and it ran down in another direction. So that's how probability works sometimes. And that's what I like about these acrylic pores. You can't predict what you got. You have a measure of control over your palette. But you enjoy the instant satisfaction. All right. And if you notice, I did not blow it all the way out to where I passed these little rims right here. That wasn't necessary for this. The cells reacted very well without trying to blow it so hard to where I get down to the pillow. That way I just focus more on the colors and I don't blow down too hard when it comes to the um, getting get the colors way down to the pillow. Makes for a nicer piece. All right. And let's spin this baby out. I love spinning out. My patience is not too great when it comes to tilting. I don't feel like waiting for the paint, 
forever to come up off the uh, off of the center, which sometimes it does. Hmm, that turned out pretty good. All right. Do that just like that. Now you don't spin it anymore. Alright? So that's number. Wait a minute. Do I gotta hit that corner? Do I have to hit that corner? Yeah. Alright. There you go. Let's spin it again. Make sure that corner comes off. Okay, that's better. All right, so now I'm gonna pop this up. Slide under. There's number three. I love that turquoise. And you know what, I'm not gonna worry about this. This is getting my nerves. One more. Look, it'll fall off. Got this thing on my countertop that knocked it over the other day and broke the part that holds the camera on, holds the phone on. So I had to go on order another one. And that's why I didn't have the other one recorded. Thin that down a little bit. I didn't feel like spinning it. I'm gonna keep it a little bit even. All right, so let's go with the same colors again. A little bit of black. The black didn't show up much in the last one. And the other two it did, but not so much in the last one. I could have left it out. Fireworks. I'm about to say firecracker. But so many names to these colors that you get a little bit confused after looking at the brands and the colors and all that. That you just want to say purple. Yellow, red, <laughs> and not be bothered with all the other fancy names they give them. But I do this because a lot of people ask, which color do you use, what brand do you use? So I definitely um, will give them the actual color that I use. They collect back together. A lot of cells in here and here. A lot of big lacing in here. So I think I blew that out of here first, so most of the purple went towards this side. Like I said, when I blow, I don't know which direction I'm gonna blow and how it's gonna work out, but I just hope that it turns out when I actually do it. Like I said, I have a plan, some kind of method in my madness. But it's not always gonna turn out the way I want it to turn out. Put you back in the center. And go for this one.
Okay. That turned out pretty funky looking, but I like it. So let me pick him up, give you a closer look. Then after this, I'm gonna put on a table and then I'll turn the camera off and get you down for a look at all, look at all four. So that's that there, you got that light shining on it. But it's gonna be better once I put it, get you over to the drying table. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera off now and I'll check back with you. Okay, folks, I'm back. Um, so let me see what I can do. This is the order I did it in. So this is the last one I did. And then this is number three. And I believe um, this is number two. And this was the first one. Um, I wanted to tell you that the skins that I did yesterday, um, that I posted on the Facebook page had a lot more yellow in it because of the way I stacked the colors. So I just did this one, this one right here, minus the purple. And I put the yellow down first. Then I did the other colors and then ended up. Did I leave the green out? Yeah, I think I did. So I used the yellow, the, um, the, the orange. Yeah, I did the green, a little bit of the green. Yeah. But anyway, I put the yellow down first. And when I put the yellow down first, the skins uh, came up um, very um, yellow. Um, let me see if I can find the skin. Because someone asked me before that um, how the skins work out, and I just had them here. And now, because I'm going to go, oh, here they go. So, here are some of the skins from yesterday. So, how they peel off. So there's some of the skins that I actually used yesterday and I peeled it right off the towel after it dried. So if you remember these, I peeled them right off. And they will um, dry nice. And they will make nice pieces of jewelry. They'll have the color shift that you see in the, uh, the turquoise there. But then you see the violet this way. So that'll make it nice under a cabochon. So this is my little messy art table. I'm knocking things over like a goofball. Anyway, I just wanted to show that to you because these how, this is how it dries. So even the cell activator that I used, it dried pretty nicely. Anyway, so let me go. But I just want you to um, share a night with me in pouring and making these coasters, scratching my blooming itch. And please, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well. And I hope to see you soon. But for now, happy pouring and please stay safe. Good night.